Pisces Weekly Horoscope, February 19 to March 20, week of December 11 to 1st 7, 2023, that big final push could make all the difference this week, Pisces, so keep your shoulder to the wheel. On Tuesday, December 12, the year's only new moon in Sagittarius switches on the engines in your 10th house of career where it positions you as a professional powerhouse. New moons are starting blocks, so no need to build your metaverse by the end of Q4. But do visualize where you'd like to land and what you'd like your job description to look like by the corresponding full moon on May 23, 2024. Results won't happen by pure magic, though, so early this week, set aside time to map out your six-month goals. This is important for everyone, but especially your fantasy-fueled sign, who can be easily distracted. Since the 10th house is also associated with the VIPs, a powerful mentor could come into your world and show you the entry point to success. One word of warning, hot-headed Mars is riding alongside the moon, which could cause you to gun your engines, or overcompensate with a rare display of swagger. Making allies, and then nurturing these folks into key contacts will hasten your progress. Instead of trying to prove yourself, focus on doing what a Pisces does best, forming genuine, heartfelt connections. Now for the week's less exciting news, Mercury is going on holiday this Wednesday, December 13, backing up through Capricorn and your 11th house of community until the 23rd, then retreating into Sagittarius and that same professional 10th house until New Year's Day. While this doesn't have to throw a wrench in your plans, you won't want to leave anything up to chance, particularly where group activities or your livelihood are concerned. This could play out in obvious and not so obvious ways, like friend circles splintering over some she said she said conflict, or perhaps your indie spirited moves ticking off a more structured person on your team. Pay close attention to the politics and power structures within any circles you travel in. This could be the sign you've been waiting for, if not exactly looking forward to, that it's time to break free from the pack. But employ your signature Piscean compassion, and you can slip away with minimal hard feelings. Regarding technology, the usual Mercury retrograde warnings are in effect, try to hold off on anything new, but if you must download software, make sure it's legit and bug-free. And back up all your communications in writing, being sure you don't inadvertently CC the wrong party. Even if you have heaps of unavoidable EOY goals on your to-do list, easy does it. This Saturday, your ruling planet Neptune, in your sign, forms a challenging angle with the sun in your career-focused house. Take a moment to hit pause and evaluate the worthiness of these last agenda items. Are they in line with your highest purpose or your soul's deepest desires? It's easy to get caught up in a flurry of busy work, but is that how you want to use your precious talents and limited time? This last Neptune square of the year may force you to refine your plans and pursue only things that will bring profound satisfaction. While there's much to be said for making bank, if your heart isn't in it, even a big victory will feel empty, 